Cut out the elbow work and still carry on a handicraft tradition. See how they make cotton flowers at this workshop in Edgware. To start with, it looks simple enough, but this is delicate work for nimble fingers. There's no substitute for the skill of the human eye and hand, and this is about as far as they go with automation, putting the spots on an orchid petal. This production line, simulating nature's art, was begun a hundred years ago by a young apprentice, John Groom of Clerkenwell, trying to find interesting work for disabled women. Now it's a lively, thriving business, competing in the export market with the more familiar but less satisfying plastic product. Flowers for buttonholes, flowers for charity, or flowers for flowers' sake. These handmade blooms make a superb show of long-lasting color that mocks the passing of the seasons. And it's a craft that pays. It takes a deft hand to learn the skillful drill, but